Hey everybody, it's Rob from Flail Thurs. This is Gundam Battle Operation 2, and this is a 300 cost ace match on, in the ravine. Um, I hadn't run a uh, uh, Helena Zaku 2 sniper in a very long time. And uh, yeah, so just felt like it looked good. Um, just for, I, I'm kind of thinking that that uh, Zaku there recognized me, but uh, hey, it's about to be a pretty good round, so, you know, I am good with that. Saw somebody down here. It is, you know, big surprise. There's a lot of different Thunderbolt tag guys getting run at 300 now, if you can imagine. But yeah, I uh, thought it was running away, kind of turned my back. It decided to come back, so now it is marked. So, so much for uh, stealth for a minute or so. And grenade out don't think it connects no not quite but yeah uh, i like i said i haven't run this in a while but uh, i like its sniper rifle i like the uh rapid fire uh sub weapon version has a sturm faust has grenades that cause jamming has a, has a spot gun it, it's it's got good gear so and uh it's also, I believe, the only Zaku 2 sniper in the game, if I'm uh, remembering properly, because, of course, the uh, standard Zaku sniper is the Zaku 1. So, and just, let's see, yeah, too far away to Sturm Fast. Probably should not have tried it. Um, got a shot there, though, so I'll take it. And, yeah, uh, I believe I end up finding out that there are possibly two general ag eyes and one uh, raid ag eye on the field. But, uh, yeah, the, again, those are, yeah, I think you can see the raid ag I, uh, like right in front there where I am not paying enough attention yet, but there is, uh, I think that's the same general I was, uh, I marked earlier. I'm not sure either way. It is a general ag I, it is marked and that person just barely managed to escape, uh, my, uh, kill shot there. Somebody else got it, but that gives me, uh, you know, that gives me an assist. So I'll take that. And see yep and i just whiffed that yeah sometimes sometimes i fire too quickly when i'm trying when i'm you know adjusting my aim and trying to hit something without hitting allies or hit something before the iframes come up that kind of thing but uh yeah also one thing that uh, kind of throws me sometimes is that if you are in the process of switching weapons and you just hold the fire button to shoot as soon as possible you will sometimes shoot at the ceiling or the floor depending on your animation for readying up I don't think I do that in this round, but I've definitely done it lately. I just don't remember what with. Might actually have been with the early production Gelgoog. I took that out a couple of times yesterday. But, okay, and... Yep, got that. Didn't quite get the follow-up again. Um, you know, anything that has a dodge roll is going to have a pretty solid chance of getting away uh, from me before I can land my kill shot. And, yeah, uh, standing in the middle of a fire to try and get uh, said kill shot, not the best idea. Somebody else got the assist just as that grenade landed. I was really hoping that uh, that would be a grenade kill, but uh, not this time. And now I'm dead. We're ahead by about 900 points. That's not a bad place to be. So, you know, so far so good. And, boy, I'm not sure how close I'm sitting to the mic stand. I hope my chair isn't clunking it or anything. If you hear any dumb noises, assume that's what the dumb noises are. But, yeah, um... Just while I'm, while I'm waiting to respawn and giving the usual, I'll give the usual spiel. At three minutes remaining, the highest scoring uh, character on each team is chosen as the ace. Their kills become worth triple points. Their uh, assists also worth triple points, and their deaths worth triple points to the other team. So your ace staying alive and getting the kills is what is uh, the best thing that can happen for your team if you're looking to win. Um, like I've said before, that is uh, a uh, mechanic that does kind of uh, uh, clash with the uh, daily objectives sometimes. This one can because this is a Monday round and so, you know, beat your rival is one of the Monday objectives. So, you know, to do that, you have to score points and to score points, you generally have to get kills. So, you know, here we are. Missed that. Yeah, sometimes I just straight up second guess myself, you know, I, I'm, I'm going too fast or I'm not, uh, or I, you know, sometimes it's, sometimes it's not the thumb. Sometimes it is just judgment, you know, same as anybody else I would imagine, but okay. Yeah, man, I, I really all, 
I've been playing this game since it started, and it still makes me feel good when I can uh, land a uh, when I can uh, land a shot on somebody through the smoke. And yeah, like I said, that was just me firing too quickly because I, if I had given it another second, I would have been able to uh, uh, would have been able to land a uh, rapid shot and kill them. But now there's a couple of people I can kill. There's one, and that's 900 points. If I can land that one, okay. Somebody else got that kill. That's fine. You know, we're ahead at this point, so better to just uh, you know keep going and uh, you know finish the round and get too upset about anything. It's only really honestly when we're losing and we could be winning if I get the kill that it really annoys me to see people, you know, take those kills. And I'm glad that Sturmfaust uh, hit because that was, you know, that was good. Given that the Sturmfaust has a lot less range than any other weapon on this, uh, I frequently miss with it when I'm running a long range suit like this. See, also, I'm think, trying to figure out if I should keep fighting or if I should repair. At the moment, going to keep fighting because I do outrange basically everything here. So it is a good opportunity. Um, oh, yeah. And speaking of a grenade kill. Bingo. Yeah, that I, I, another thing that feels really good. The long, the long distance grenade kills are the best. And I was not paying enough attention to my... Uh, uh, to my hit points and got killed. Interestingly, I seem to have fallen in half like I got cut, but as far as I know, nothing was close enough to cut me. So uh, that's that's a weird one. I don't, you know, that is almost exclusively an animation that happens with the uh, melee deaths. I'm not sure I've ever seen it uh, happen for a ranged attack before. So uh, beats me. Maybe the, if that is a gym two, maybe the harpoon hit me and that counts as like, you know, ranged melee. I doubt it does, though. I'm pretty sure that's just straight up projectile. But, uh, yeah, so I have no idea what the game was thinking. I never do, but, you know, that that is even just outside my realm of experience, that glitch there. Assuming it was a glitch and I just missed, I didn't just miss something, which, you know, much more within my realm of experience. Okay, um, let's see. And, yep, there is that raid Agai. I'm going to try to hold it off. I'm the only one here. I should be sending for help, quite frankly, but uh, I'm not... Uh, okay, okay, I finally did, which is good. I was not prepared to tackle here, but, boy, number five was. And, yeah, that was just... That was just fantastic. That was a great save, great way to end the round. And, you know, I, I am happy with that. We didn't have time to kill that Agai, but we won... And yeah, that was just, that was a great, great finisher for a fun round. So I, I uh, you know, I had a good time with this one. And I got top score, 4970 out of 10,000. Solid uh, for an ace match. Our gym two was uh, cleaning up, 83k damage. I did 59, but also managed seven and two. So yeah, decent acing, I think. And that is going to do it for today's Gundam Battle Operation 2. We'll be back soon with more. Till next time, everybody take care and have fun. Later! So, in case you didn't notice, the uh, there was an announcement yesterday for the uh, Spring Festival for the PSN version of GBO2. And uh, they've already uh, they already put in uh, free, uh, free single spins on... Uh, uh, on the PSN version on Monday. So, you know, I don't know. I don't know if that is a single time thing or if that is going to be every day. They did say, uh, I think it's going to be four ten spins with a, a couple of guaranteed two stars for each. I may be wrong about that. So, you know, whatever the website uh, says is more correct than I am. But uh, they also announced that the next four star, which will be out this week, will be the new Gundam Heavy Weapon System. And they are going to put a bunch of uh, four stars into recycle tickets. Unfortunately, it looks like I have every single one of them. But uh, for people who don't, there is a fair amount of good stuff coming.